Hey there, this is Jen Healy and I'm coming to you from Hawaii to share with you some of my morning practices. And I wanna to talk to you a little bit about this swing rebounder combination and why it's so important to me. So I've had ACL reconstruction on both knees 20 some years ago. And so running is not the best thing for my body. And a lot of people have told me over the years that they love the swing, but they would like more cardio and more legs. So it's been about seven years now that I've been playing with the rebounder and swing combination and I absolutely love it. And I just decided that it was time to do some more videos of some different things that we can do in combination using other modalities and blending with other equipment. So we're going to focus on legs today. And for anybody with injuries, either ankles or knees, I want you to take it easy and do kind of like a more restorative version the best you can. But for those that really want to get a good warm up and a good workout in the morning, this is going to be perfect for you. Okay, so we're going to still use the hand holds and leg loops and main swing, but we're going to focus on legs today and maybe do a little bit longer if we get into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our wrist wraps and our hands and let's just do some spins and spirals starting to wake, wake up the body slowly. Uh, this is my morning practice. So I just woke up myself and I'm so excited to share some more of these 10, 15 minute videos with you guys. Just encouraging you to wake up, get in the swing, add some fun cardio, some good dance music, whatever gets you going in the morning and makes you really happy. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of core as well. We're gonna bend the knees and we're just gonna play with going around the world like we just were with our feet on the rebounder. If it's easier for your arms or for your shoulders to keep your feet grounded, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we're gonna work the core, the obliques, do some around the worlds, warm up the spine. Get the arms activated and tone the core. Okay, let's just do 10 lifts here. I'm gonna do hopefully less talking and more just practicing with you. I find it challenging to talk the whole time and do the cardio, but we'll see. I'm gonna show you some leg moves, some foot moves, some dance moves, some moves for the hips, the glutes, quads, Kind of get a little bit of everything in for the lower body today. Okay, come on down to center. <sighs> Give it a little shake. And as you shake it out, start to give it a little bounce. And just let that feel good. Bouncing from side to side. As you can see, I'm outside here in Hawaii, Maui, and I just love practicing outside. So if you can somehow get your swing and rebounder out under a tree or something, I highly recommend it otherwise. Find a space in your place, maybe the garage, where you can really have some private time and dig in for a good 10, 15 minutes. Okay, as we're shaking it out, let's hold on to the top of the leg loops and give it some twists, straight arms. And I'm making up the names and sequences to help people follow along. They're intended to be silly and playful and funny. <laughs> so this is just a, a like twist ski that I call it because it's like we're skiing. I don't ski, as you can tell. <laughs> and if I did, this is how I'd ski. <laughs> and then we can go more side to side instead of just twisting into our ski moves. Okay. And use your arms about 50%. Yesterday we were using all arms and being really strong, keeping them straight, getting more balance. But today we're holding on for more stability and balance and still working the upper body, but not as focused as we are on the legs. Okay? And then we're just going to run in place, bending the elbows and doing tiny little mini bicep curls. So, and that. What we want to do is be able to hold on and do more reps with a lighter amount. So we're not trying to burn out the arms really fast. We really want to focus on the legs. Let's get into some high knees. Keep pulling on. 
You can always switch it up, slide your hands down if they get tired. I usually like to do either straight arms or bend the elbows. See which one you like. Go back and forth between those. Down a little faster. Usually I put on some really fun house music. Just keep the beat going. And then I'm just gonna play with working the shoulders, adding a little bit more side to side here. Okay, I'm gonna hold on a little higher to do the kicks. <laughs> a little dance moves here. Beautiful. Keep going. Do like a minute for each one. And we'll keep mixing it up. And then I'm gonna kick back. Straight legs if you can, leaning forward. Keep holding on. And then kick the butt. Okay. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and try the handholds? Just doing a finger wrap. Keep mixing it up so the arms don't get too tired. Let's kick out to the sides. Bent knees first. And then knees wide. Hunky tonk. <laughs> Feet wide. Knees wide. This is so fun for me. Hope you're enjoying it too. Okay, tick tock. Straight legs side to side. You can go fast or slow. I guess you can bring it down and just do little restorative, or you can really go for it and get your legs out there. I'm using a lot more arms when I hold on to the handles. Go a little faster if that feels good. And then kicks, side kicks. Keep bouncing. Gets. High knee side kick. High knee side kick. Ten of those. Cool. Okay, bring the arms down. Bounce it out in place. <sighs> I'm just doing some footwork, switching back and forth. Letting the upper body bop at the same time. The arms are more relaxed because they got tired. <laughs> and then twist it. Twists are some of my favorite things to do. I'm gonna go over everything again. Add some things in as inspiration comes. <laughs> you can do some kitten play as I call them. <laughs> Crisscross. <laughs> okay. Let's reach up a little bit higher. This gives me a little bit more stability when I do the kicks and high knees and stuff. So let's go ahead and jog in place. Heels to bum. <sighs> Straight up at first. Pennies. Maybe a little faster now. Work your arms. Feet out. Knees wide. Hunky tonk. Turkish dance. Back, kick straight back. Work the glutes. I lean forward for this one. You can even come forward with the arms. Work the upper body as well. Push out through the heels, straight legs. Working hamstrings and glutes. Let's go back to high knees. You can do high knees really fast while you're holding on. Just sit the foot. Ski. Side. side. You can always double, double, double. Mix it up. Press cross. Okay. 
beautiful. We're gonna move into tick tocks. Okay, now nice kick out. One side, other side. Work the legs, all the muscles. Now we'll go with one hand. Fix your hair. <laughs> out to the side. Other side. So mix it up, keep having fun with it. Create some new moves for yourself too. It feels good on your body. Just even straight up and down. Hold it on. It's great. Bouncing is so good for the body, the lymph, blood, circulation, mood, <laughs> attitude, all the things. Do about five more minutes and then some cool down. Let's get into our kicks. Side to side. Holding on higher up to do the kicks so it feels stable. Let me. Her kicks. Let me her kicks. Side to side. in place. <sighs> Left side to side and you're going to go into twists. My twists are going to be a little higher this time. Bouncing higher, using more arms. Usually for the grand finale, do the bigger moves and then move down. Let's see. A little faster. Little footwork. There. Freestyle. Look at the calves. Very good. Okay. That was great. That feels like enough for today. But depending on what you're listening to and how inspired you are, you could do a great half hour, 45 minute workout like this. And then I like to use my hand holds and then. Just do some big jumps at the end. Yay! We did it! <laughs> as high as you can. <sighs> and bring it down. Last set of bicep curls. Pull ups for today. <sighs> Release the arms. Just shake it out. You can use the rebounder without the swing. It's not nearly as fun for me. <laughs> Just give the arms a chance to freestyle as well. And wrap your arms around. Let's come back in. Get it low behind the heart. Whew, and start to spin it out from side to side. Oh, such a good work, warm up, workout. Let the arms keep flowing in the space. Let the feet be nice and wide. Go into the edges of the rebounder. Oh. You know, the rebounder is really very in quality. I can get one for $50 off of Amazon or they run all the way up to $350 for some of the good ones. And I'll leave some links in the descriptions of these videos so you can pick the right one for you. And you might want to start out with you know, a cheaper one and build up to a really good one. That just depends on the quality. Just like you can get a really cheap hammock, but it's not going to feel nearly as good as a really high quality deluxe one. So just keep that in mind. This is just one I got off of Amazon for $50, but there are some other good ones. I travel with this one. <laughs> so this is the one I brought to Hawaii. So they fold up. Okay. Let's just do some windshield wipers side to side, holding on to the swing and then with some twists, stretching out the hips. Ah, we can even come into a version of seated pigeon here. Let's bring our right foot forward, bend the left knee over, and then just play with rocking our hips from side to side, flexing the foot back to protect the knee. You can do this with the leg loops on too, but we're just doing a quick cool down. So I'm just using the main swing. Let's switch sides, bending the right knee, 
flexing the toes back and rocking the hips from side to side. You can go all the way over and really ring out the spine. Let the knee come down towards the ground. Oh, that feels so good. Let's do that one more time on each side. Bend the right knee, left foot on top. Pull the knee down. And then roll all the way out to the side. Foot finds the rebounder at about the nine, three axes for those that know the clock and practice with me. 12 o'clock is forward, nine and three on the sides. Six in the back. So good. All right, one more time. Left foot down, bend the right knee, cross it over. Twist it out. Let the foot slide down. Twist. Always keep the feet flexed to protect the knees. That's really important. Like I mentioned, since I've had knee surgery at a very young age on both knees, I take really good care of my knees. And this low impact cardio is just so good for my body and I don't feel any pressure or strain on the joints. And let's just end with a forward fold. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was such a pleasure to share this with you. You can find out more at jenhealy.org or aerialyogarx.com. And I'll keep coming back each day with a video to share with you. So please join me. Namaste.